Hi guys, my name is Katie and this video is ideal for anyone who wants to or is thinking about becoming a prison officer. Specifically, this short video is going to focus on the prison officer roleplay exercises which forms an integral part of the selection process. Now as I go through this video, make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper as I will provide some great tips and useful information that you can apply to your application. Now before I move on, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for free to be kept up to date with more of my career videos including processes, interviews, sample tests and much more. Okay, so becoming a prison officer. If you're attending an assessment for a job as a prison officer, one of the key testing categories is role play. The prison officer role play forms a part of the prison officer recruitment assessment day, also known as the RAD, and I have provided you a direct link to our how to become a prison officer role play page, which you can use to get further information. Okay, so what is role play? So role play will focus on your ability to make a good make good decisions based on limited information. So with the help of this short video, you should have no problem gain, gaining employment as a prison officer. Okay, so role play questions. So to begin with, you'll be giving a briefing pack which will outline a particular scenario. You'll be expected to pick up particular cl clues from the information given which will dictate how you are meant to respond to that situation. So you will be judged against eight behavioural competency concepts, any number of which could be assessed in any of the questions you will encounter. Okay, so we've got effective communication, we have persuading and influencing, drive and resilience, caring, relationships and team building, respecting others, integrity and environmental safety. So, like I said, you will be given a briefing pack which will outline a particular scenario and you will have to use that scenario in order to show how you would respond to a particular situation. Okay, so here is the first role play scenario that I've provided you and I've also provided you sample responses which would score highly in the assessment. Okay, so... You are the manager of a retail centre. A member of your staff who will be played by the role play actor interviewer approaches you and tells you that another member of staff has been making racist comments about her. She is feeling very upset and feels threatened by the alleged abuse. She would like to make a formal complaint. Okay, so how would you deal with this situation? So this scenario will test the competency of your communication skills as you need to use them to clarify the details of the situation before making a judgment, okay? So therefore, the first thing you need to ask is something as followed, okay? So you could start off by saying, Hello, thank you for coming to see me today. I understand that you have had a bad experience. I'd like to explore what has happened. Please can you tell me exactly what has happened to you? Okay, so things to remember in this situation so don't forget that you are not just being tested on your verbal skills but on your physical communication skills too okay so you need to present yourself as a calming and reassurance pe um, presence for the distressed staff member use nods eye contacts and hand gestures as a way of demonstrating this okay so after the staff member has explained the situation you can ask questions such as follows so that must have been terrible for you. Are you okay for me to ask some more questions about the situation? If at any time you feel uncomfortable, please stop me and we will take a break. What did the person say to you? When and where did this happen? How did that make you feel? Had they said anything like this to you before? Are you aware of anybody else receiving the same treatment? Okay, so there's some of the questions that you could ask after your initial statement okay so this basically will give an overview of the initial facts of the situation and it will help you to make an overall judgment okay so you should then demonstrate your ability to relay this judgment to the staff member so you could say something as follows so thank you for the information that you have provided me with today i can assure you that this kind of behavior would not be tolerated and a full investigation will be carried out in the meantime, in order to protect you from any further issues, I will take you away from the staff member and allocate another supervisory member to keep a regular check on you. 
Please don't hesitate to come and see me again if there are any more issues or even if you just need to talk to someone. Okay, so that's a great final statement. It shows that you have clarified the situation. You are making uh, arrangements to fix the situation. So it shows a strong, professional, effective way of handling that particular scenario. Okay, so let's have a look at a different scenario. Okay, so scenario two. You're working as a new prison officer. A prisoner who will be played by the assessor has been breaking the rules by bullying new inmates and swearing at other prisoners. It's your responsibility to talk to him about his behaviour to try and amend it. He is relatively new inmate himself and has been finding it difficult to settle into prison life. So how would you handle this situation? Okay, So this situation will test your communicational, caring and influencing skills. So you need to clarify all of the details of the situation and understand why the inmate is behaving in this particular way. So you need to understand this before making that final judgment. So here is how you could begin your role play. Hi, thanks for coming to see me. I'd like to talk to you about an issue that has been brought to my attention. It's been noticed that you've been bullying some of the new inmates and also swearing at other prisoners. What's been making you act in this manner? Okay, so at this point, the prisoner breaks down crying. He's clearly upset about something. So in this instant, it's important that you can demonstrate a caring nature. What's the problem? Tell me what's on your mind and how you're feeling. I fully understand that this is difficult for you, but you need to talk and get things off your chest. So the prisoner then tells you that he has recently received a letter from his girlfriend at home telling him that their relationship is over. He's angry about this and therefore has started taking it out on other inmates. Okay, so now that you've got the situation and you understand why he's behaving in the way that he is, you... Also, you need to show your empathetic, um, an empathetic attitude, but you still need to remain professional. Okay, so you need to have a response that deals with this situation in the most professional manner. Okay, so you could say, "Oh no, that's terrible news. I'm really sorry to hear that. I can understand the anger that you must be feeling. However, as you can appreciate, your actions towards other prisoners aren't acceptable." It's at times like this that you need the support of other people and you can only gain that support by treating people with respect. Can you understand that? Now, if the, if the prisoner doesn't agree with you, then you need to demonstrate your resilience by further explaining the situation and the implications of his behaviour, okay? But once you have brought him round to your way of thinking, you can then begin to help him. You're clearly going through a difficult time. I'm here to talk to you whenever you need it. Instead of shouting at other prisoners, come and sit down with me and talk about your feelings. Does that sound okay to you? Always remember that being a prison officer is about providing appropriate support to prisoners, not about shouting at them or punishing them for their crimes, okay? So this is another great example of how you could deal with this particular scenario. So it's important to remember to relate your responses back to the key competencies that the, um, the assessors are looking for. But remember to remain professional, remain effective, but also show that you're empathetic, you're caring and that you are willing to engage with prisoners' life and how they must be feeling. Okay, so that's it for my prison officer roleplay exercises. I hope this video has given you a better understanding in regards to the process of becoming a prison officer and how, you t how to handle the roleplay exercises. Please remember to like this video, drop me a message if you have any questions or comments. Um, also, please subscribe to the channel, it is free and it will keep you up to date with more of my videos. I have provided you a link to our prison officer page so you can get more information and further resources. Now take care, thank you for watching and good luck with your career.